Welcome to the Dave Knows Comics live stream. I'm your host, David Lee. And welcome to a brand new game, brand new fun, all up in here. So, let's give everybody a moment to file in, play the new game, check out the fun. Um, yes, so this is going to be a brand new segment here, which I will admit that I thoroughly regret. And by the way, did I say five minutes? Because I really meant, like, more than 15. Uh, hello, Parasu King, double A. How does this work? Ooh, I'm glad you're going to say. So now, everybody's going to take a time to file in. Now, um, I came up with this idea, and then I... I might not play for very long. Okay, uh, well, uh, just to explain the rules, uh, let everybody file in, and uh, thank you for any likes you have to give. Um, so this is just like the game Jeopardy, uh, or not at all, or at all. Well, hey, glad for that you stopped by. So this is going to be, um, uh, I came up with this idea, and then I thoroughly regretted it as soon as I thought of it, and then started doing it, but I was already committed, and then I uh, got lazy. So in case you were wondering, and I'm sure nobody even noticed, why is the font for 200 different than the font for the other numbers? It doesn't matter. I wasn't going to go back to change it. That's how much I regretted this. Because I had to make everything individually. So anyway, I made this board last night uh, with each individual pieces. I'm going to take down your name. You can say whatever you want. Um, I am going to write down your scores. I have a series of questions. Um, I completely forgot to think of a Final Jeopardy question. We're only playing one round. Uh... If I can think of a Final Jeopardy question, we'll make it that. Okay, there are two... Hello, Ron Hawthorne. Hey there, Ben Espinosa. Yes, I'm glad you enjoyed it. So, um, so this is the way it's going to work. It's just like regular Jeopardy. Um, we have our different categories here. Everybody can play. Uh, you chime in. Whoever gets the answer, I'll ask who wants to ask a question. You pick the number and the point amount. And, the and uh, by the way, the winner gets nothing. You get a no prize. Uh, hey, Rod Reflex, depends on how long you want to take to let people in. Uh, and you go next live stream, I'll give you a shout at the belt. Ooh, okay. <clears throat> so, we have our categories. We have our categories. We'll let people pick, and then we'll play the game just like regular Jeopardy. So, and then we'll tally up the points, and then whoever, and then wh whoever has the most points is the winner. Um, I have my pen and paper here. Um, and, of course, you don't get anything. You just get the satisfaction of winning. The first ever no pretty in... Uh, the Dave Knows Comics uh, history. I feel like I don't belong here. You belong here, buddy. You're a know-it-all member through and through. And again, thank you for any likes you have to give. So, oh, stop asking me about this. Um, not you. I was talking about uh, an update thing. Uh, we'll be on the live stream tomorrow. Double like, <gasps> heart is a broken. Okay, so here's so here's the deal. Let's go over the categories uh, because I can only fit so many in there. So first category we have Batman. Now this is actually Batman names because the answers and we're not doing that whole. You have to ask him. You have to answer in the form of a question. Just give the answer like a normal person. That was always dumb to me. Anyway, um, so the questions are the answers to everything is the name of a Batman character. So this is specifically names of supporting characters in the Batman universe. Then next we have first appearances in the MCU. It just says MCU, but then we have the first appearances in the MCU. I'm gonna ask you a question and then you're gonna tell me what movie that these characters about about the questions are all about the first time certain characters appeared in the MCU you're gonna have to answer those questions uh, next is rhyme time uh, anyone familiar with Jeopardy may be also familiar with the category of rhyme time but if you're not uh, let's break it down the category of rhyme time is I'm gonna give you two clues now the answers to both of those clues are going to be different words that rhyme okay so for example it sounds more complicated than it is. It's actually pretty easy once you get a hanger. So you're going to get two clues, and the answer to one clue and the answer to the second clue are going to be two different words that both rhyme. So, for example, if I say, um, if, uh, I, if I give you the clues shop and beach, shop and beach, the answer is going to be uh, store, shore. Get it? Because shop uh, is the clue another word for shop is a store then another word for beach is the shore so store and shore rhyme therefore the correct answer is store shore all right so that's uh that's how rhyme time works it's it's actually a pretty popular category in the actual in the real jeopardy this is no pretty uh but yeah so um that's how that's how this works um so that's what rhyme time is it's a lot of fun um it, it, once you get the hang of it um 
Then there's, it's one of my favorite categories, actually. So then next is villains. Uh, this is all about uh, different villains. Uh, obviously enough, that one's pretty no, uh, no-brainer. And then next we have writers, where I'm going to ask you about a specific piece of comic book something. Uh, a story arc, a movie, whatever. And then you tell me who writes, who is the writer of it. To everything is deep dish pizza. That is not the answer to everything. Uh, the only thing that's the answer to is what is called pizza, even though it's not pizza. Uh, that's very one's way. Okay, Ron. So, all right. So, everybody here, everybody happy. Um, as I said, you don't have to. You don't have to play. You can just enjoy pizza time. There's no pizza time. You don't have to play, but if you would like to, I'm going to be keeping scores and tallies. And how am I determining who is going to pick first? <coughs> Well, Porosso King, since you were so kind to be the first one I saw in the chat, and again, this is by my chat. Oh, and I should also point out, there is also two daily doubles here, or daily doubles, as you'll see. So, um, Porosso King, were you, uh, since you were here first, if you would like, uh, and of course this is by answer, whoever answers first gets the points. Uh, this is, of course, by my view, because it's whatever comes up in my chat, as we learned that sometimes the chats aren't the same. But for as far as I'm concerned, I'm here. So, Parasa, can, can you please explain the rules again? All right. Um, it's just like the game Jeopardy, where you get to pick whatever category for whatever point you mount. So, if you want to choose Batman for 100 points, um, I will pick that, and then I'll ask the question. Whoever gets the question right first, whoever answers first by my screen, will get 100 points. And then we'll play throughout the game. Okay? And then whoever gets the most points at the end wins. Uh, there may be a final Jeopardy. Again, if I... I just ate pizza today, too, right? Um, that I made myself. Um, if I can think of a final Jeopardy question at the end, then you get one last chance to ask one question where you get to bet as much money... As much of the points as you have as you want. Uh, and then that'll be it. Uh, I'll try to think of one. I can't promise anything, but I'll try. Okay, so... Uh, do we have to say who... No, you don't have to do the whole form of a question thing. Uh, that, that, I, I never liked that about Jeopardy. I always thought that was stupid. Um, anyway, so Poderasso King, if you would like, you can decline if you want to, but if you would like, um, go ahead and give me your first... Uh, pick whichever category you like. Okay. Uh, who's going to go first? Well, you, Parasso King, you can, you, everybody can, as soon as I ask the question, whoever answers first gets the points. So all you have to do is pick a category and a point amount 100, 200, 300. Uh, so it's up to you. Like I said, you can decline the first pick. Uh, I'm just going at it because you were the first person I saw in the chat, so I, I decided to go with you. Uh, you could decline if you want to, but uh, if not, all you got to do is pick a category and a Okay, so MCU. Okay, so MCU for 100 now. Everyone, get ready. Yeah, I don't have the music. I I, I think that's probably not allowed. But anyway, um, yeah. So okay, so the MCU for 100 points. Let's see. Let's go to the question. Hold on. And guess what? I can also. Um, so. Boop, boop, boop. Okay, so see, look at that. I can take it out of the equation. So the MCU for 100 points. What film? is the first appearance of the character Black Widow. When did Black Widow first appear in which movie did the Black Widow first appear in the MCU? I want to do the music. I want to do the music. So yeah, what movie? So that is the question for, for 100 points. What movie did the Black Widow make her MCU debut? And see, look, I can make all the numbers disappear. That's what took this so long. That's why this took so long to make. And that's why I regret it. Iron Man 2 says Ron Hawthorne. Iron Man 2 is correct. Ron Hawthorne. Thorne gets 100 points, which means, all right, Ron Hawthorne, 100 points to you. And obviously, the higher dollar amount, the higher point amount, makes the game harder. So 100 points to Ron Hawthorne. Ron Hawthorne, you have 100 points, and you have control of the board. What category would you like next? Yes, very good, Ron. Very good indeed. Ron, where would you like to go next? I think I'm on a delay because it was way too fast. Oh no. Delay. Problems with the internet. Titanic. What? The Titanic. 
Okay, Ron Hawthorne would like to go with writers for 200. Now, remember, I am going to knit writers like authors or writers of com comic book movies. Uh, this is all comic book related. This is a comic book channel. Uh, so I'm going to, remember, I'm going to name something specific, a specific, um, I'm going to name a specific com uh, comic property, and then you tell me, whoops, sorry, wrong one. A specific comic property and you tell me who wrote it and so the question is now there's three possible correct answers for this I will take any of them um, you do not get bonus points for naming more than one but who wrote the film the Dark Knight who wrote the film Dark Knight Double A answers with David Goyer. You are correct, sir. Double A on the board with 200. <clears throat> 200 points for Double A. Very, very good. David S. Goyer is the correct answer. Uh, also would have accepted Christopher and Jonathan Nolan. Both Nolans actually worked on developing the story and the screenplay, so both also would have been acceptable. But yes, uh, the answer I was looking forward to was the most was David Escoyer. Okay, so very good, Double A, Double A. You now have control of the board. Where would you like to go next? Back in the game, taking names. That's right. You're gonna see if you can win that title belt for multiple categories. I gotta still think of a final Jeopardy question. I completely screwed up. But wait, this isn't gonna work. I'm gonna see all your answers. Everyone's gonna be able to see your answers. Oh yeah, so never mind. That's like so I can't do Final Jeopardy. It's not gonna make any sense because you're gonna be able to see everything that you write. So you know what? No Final Jeopardy. It wouldn't make sense anyway. Cause you can't keep your answer secret. All right, so Double A, where would you like to travel to next? I'm going with villains. Ha 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 ha! Villains. Ha 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 ha! Villains for 100 he says okay so villains for 100 Boop. Uh, let's just pretend that I'm actually is that the you know the noise is being made not by me um, all right so villains for 100 the question is the juggernaut gets his powers from the crimson gem of crimson gem of what answer the question fill in the blank so uh, and especially if you watched last week's video, which I hope that you did, you actually get a pretty big hint for this. So this is also benefiting those members of the Know It All Nation who are watching the videos. So yes, the joke for 100 points, the Juggernaut gets his powers from the Crimson Gem of. Inigo Montoya with Cytorak! Yes! Inigo Montoya on the board! Inigo... 100. Alright, very, very good. Very, very good. Ah, a lot of you guys got that, though. I, I am thoroughly impressed. Inigo Montoya, you have control of the board. Where are we going? Uh, a lot of guy, a lot of you guys knew that answer. Very good, very good. I love, I like, I like Samurai Productions, uh, being the audience member here. Uh, but uh, I think you're doing great. Uh, but yeah, so where are we going, uh, Nigo Montoya? Where would you like to go next? So far, this is anybody's game. Uh, I almost actually put on a shirt and tie, and then I realized. I don't want. I also realized that five hundred turned like five minutes turned into like all, turned into twenty. So I figured uh, on my screen I came for him. Yeah, as I said, we've learned this the other day that apparently sometimes the screens flip. But I'm going by what I see because I actually have you third. Uh, Ron actually an answered before you, but yeah. So all right, Anigo Montoya wants a villain, but so we're just going by my screen. But um, definitely knew you knew that um, villains. For, wait, hold on. You said villains, right? Villains for three hundred. Villains for 300. Boop. 
Wait, no, wrong, sorry. Uh, give me a second. Give me a second, Bill. Uh, where is it? There it is. Okay, sorry. I had a hard time finding. Boop. Okay, there you go. Sorry. I know. I have to. I have to. I have to move it off the board. All right. So, villains for two hundred. For two hundred, correctly spell. Spelling counts for this one. Normally, I'm pretty loose with it, but correctly spell the two hundred points for villains goes to whoever spells. Cletus Cassidy correctly. Carnage's real name, Cletus Cassidy. Who spells it correctly first? This is one of those names that drives me crazy about its spelling because it's so odd. So 300? Alright, well this is now the $300 question. You did say 300, so I did have it. Right, okay, anyway, yeah, whoops, my bad. Alright, well this is now the $300 question. My bad. My bad. So for 300 points, spell Cletus Cassidy correctly. Oh, Samurai Productions says, audience member, no more. I'm getting in this. All right, Samurai Productions, you are correct. Samurai, this was easier for you guys than I thought, unless you guys all Googled it. Um, either way, um, that uh, I found this complicated because I just think it's a sort of weird way to spell the name. Uh, but yeah, uh, okay, so yeah, uh, Samurai Productions got there first. All right, Samurai Productions, welcome to the game. Where would you like to go? And so far in the lead, um, where would you like to go next? Samurai Productions. Movies is very limited, but I'll still watch. Hey, Barasso King, hey, if you get it, you get it. Participate, no harm in trying. You get a wild card. Wild card factor. Okay, so, yeah, Cletus Cassidy. Very good. Samurai Productions. What would you like to go with next? Uh, Samurai Productions says Batman for 200. Batman for 200. Batman for 200. All right. Um... Batman for 200. <sighs> Batman for 200. All right, for 200 points. Who is Arkham Asylum named after? Who is the founder of Arkham Asylum in the comic books? The original continuity, by the way. We're not doing the else, no else world stories. We're doing original main continuity. Who is the founder of Arkham Asylum? Hey, Anigo, take care. Thank you uh, for participating. Glad you got to be on the board. So, yes, who is in the comic books, original main continuity, who is the founder of Arkham Asylum? Ron Hawthorne! Check out the big brains of Brad! Ron Hawthorne with 200 points. Ties him up to the lead. That is the correct answer. Amadeus Arkham. That is correct. Very, very good. So, Ron Hawthorne is up to 300 now. Very, very, very good. And wow, so far, uncontested. This would be great on Zoom. It would be. But Zoom, with more than one person, costs money. And who do they think they got? Chelsea Clinton? All right, Ron Hawthorne back in control, tied for the lead with Samurai Productions. Where would you like to go next? Gained the lead, lost the lead, tied the lead. Anyone else thought that was weird how Taylor would do that? <laughs> like, I get it, it just didn't seem, it seemed needlessly elaborate. It seemed needlessly elaborate. Run all that, you're in control. Let's close out villains, he says. Okay, let's close out villains. So, villains for 200 now. Since that is what, uh, uh, what's for? Nope. There we go. 
It's not exact science, all right. Villains for 200. Um, what does... Okay, so the answer for... So for 200 points now, the real 200-point question. What does Ensabonor mean? Apocalypse's real name, one of his real names, Ensabonor. What does... I know they change it, but what does Ensabonor mean? The Facebook ROM chat is free. I don't have Facebook. So yeah, what does Ensabonor, one of the proposed apocalypse's real names, I know he's had alternate real names, Ensabonor is the real name. What does Ensabonor mean? No, Porraso King, good guess though. Uh, hey Alexis, thank you. What's the scoreboard looking like? I'll tell you momentarily as soon as someone answers this question. No, Ron Hawthorne, that is incorrect. Oh, and unlike Real Jeopardy, I'm also not taking away points if you get it wrong. Maybe I should do that next time. But right now, we're not doing that. I just don't feel like doing extra math. I would have mentioned that sooner, but I forgot. So, you know what? We're not doing it this round. Morning light? No. Huh. No. I guess his name is Seth. <laughs> Interesting. Interesting. Can you say it again? The character of Apocalypse in the X -Men, from the X Men franchise. His name is one of his proposed real names is En Sabanor. What does En Sabanor mean? See, this is why it's really the three hundred dollar question. Uh, I'm gonna give it another minute, and if nobody gets it, I'm just gonna call time on it. Uh, and by minute, I'm just looking at where it says how much I stream, how long I've been streaming. So whenever it goes up to the next number is when I'm gonna call it. That's how I time things around here. All right, that's it. Nobody got the answer. Um, doo -doo -doo. The answer is the first one. And Salvador stands for means the first one because it was proposed. He is the first mutant. I know there are other there are other people there are other claims out there that say it's not Apocalypse, but whatever. And Salvador means the first one. Uh, that's what it is alluding to. Okay, but um, last I checked, um, Ron Hoth. Okay, so no one got that one. Um, but Ron Hawthorne, I believe you still have control of the board. Morning Light. A lot of people are saying the Morning Light. Huh, interesting. Uh, well, in the comic books, it means the first one. <laughs> I googled it. That might be what it really means, but in the comic books, it meant the first one. So, I'm going by, I'm going by what it meant in the comic books. And also it depends on what language. Writers for three hundred. Okay, so for three hundred points, for three hundred points, he says, for three hundred points, jiu -ju, ju 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 you hit the Dave Lee double. One or two Dave Lee doubles here, and let's go ahead and. Re and let's go ahead and recap the scores now for everybody. Uh, even though he left and is not part of the game, Inigo Matoya has 100 points. Uh, in second place is Double A for 200 points. And tied for first place is Samurai Productions and you, Ron Hawthorne, with 300 points. So you can wager up to 300 points for this question. How much would you like to wager? You can wager none or all of your or your money. What would you like to do? Now, everyone, the following question is only for Ron. Nobody can get points for this other than Ron for the next question. Uh, so if you answer anyway um, and you are giving the right answer, you are just helping him out. Keep that in mind. So don't answer unless you're Ron Hawthorne when the question comes. But first, we need to know how much Ron is willing to wager. Go big or go home. 
Going all in? Pushing all in? Is that what you're doing, Ron? I need a precise dollar amount. Go big or go home, he says. So, Ron Hawthorne, full amount, 300. Yes, yes. Question mark. Ron? Oh, Ron. All in, final answer. Okay, good. Now, um, I will give you a total of 60 seconds. Uh, I'll give you three minutes. I'll give you, yeah, I'll, uh, I'll give you two. I'll give you two minutes. That sounds fair. I actually think I need to go my clock on this one. Uh, I'll give you two and a half minutes. That's what I'll do. Okay, so after, as soon as I'm done with the question, I'll give you two minutes to answer. So the question is, this is writers. I will name a comic book property of some kind, and then you tell me who is the writer. So you have two and a half minutes after I'm done asking the question. The qu and the question is, who wrote the comic book, the comic book story, specifically in the comic book? Who wrote the comic book story for the man who has everything? Who wrote in the comics for the man who has everything. Two and a half minutes starting now. Ron Hawthorne only, please. Only Ron Hawthorne. No one else answer. Ron Hawthorne only. Double A, are you not listening? Ron Hawthorne only. Ron Hawthorne only. You don't get the points for if you answered. Ron Hawthorne answers Alan Moore. That is correct. Alan Moore is the correct answer. You get 300 points, bringing up Ron Hawthorne to a total of 600 points and definitively giving him the lead. Very, very good. And by a minute, for some reason, it, the, the, the Dave Lee double thing didn't clue you in. All right, very good, Ron Hawthorne. Answers the first of the two doubles. What would you like to go next? Hey, yo, Harry Flynn. Welcome, buddy. Uh, has anyone ever seen that Jeopardy ending where a guy won by uh, beating the guy? No. Ron Hawthorne, very good job. Alan Moore was the correct answer there. Alan Moore, where would you like to go next? I have that book here on my shelf. Nice. Were you sweating it out? Were you like, what's he going to ask me? What is he going to ask me? Let me just win. And you're like, on my shelf. Oh, I got this. Uh, all right. So Ron Hawthorne in, con in control, in the lead. Where would you like to go next? Ron Hawthorne. I was being serious. Well, I know your name is Ron. Well, okay. I mean, yeah, but you're not Ron Hawthorne. So if it is, then I don't know. You guys should be like better friends or something. I believe that your name is Ron. I mean, your name's got to be something. Rhyme time for 100. Finally going into rhyme time. Now again, to remind everyone, I'm going to give you two separate clues. Each clue, it gives two different answers. Both answers will rhyme. They're two words that rhyme. So rhyme time for 100. Um, this is actually going to be an easy one. I'm glad that you picked it. Um, okay, so rhyme time boop, for 100. Hey, Harry Flynn. Uh, hey, Harry Flynn, even though you just arrived, if you want to get involved in Jeopardy, go right ahead. Go ahead and play. Everybody's welcome. Uh, so, wrong time. So, again, I'm going to give you two different clues. The clue for one word and the clue for the second word, they're both going, the answers are going to rhyme. Okay, so this is an easy one. So, first clue and second clue. Two clues. Dr. Octopus. Dr. Octopus. The answers to both clues will rhyme. So the correct answer for 100 points, Dr. Octopus. Who gets this right? We're looking for two words that rhyme. That is the correct answer. And the hints are Dr. and Octopus. This is as easy as I could make the first one. 
Samurai Productions says Doc Ock, and that is correct. Doc Ock. Double A, that does not rhyme. Uh, Doc Ock is correct. So Samurai Productions gets another 100 points. Ooh. Uh, Samurai Productions not quite back to, to, to the lead, but getting closer. Uh, Parazzo King, no, that's not it at all. Doc Ock. See, because it's a common nickname, but a nick the hint was Doctor, and then the other hint was Octopus. Doc and Ock rhyme, so Doc Ock. Get it? That doesn't rhyme, Harry. Doesn't, nobody's getting this, huh? All right, well, I, True Sinister, Ron Hawthorne, and uh, Samurai Productions. Well, Samurai Productions, uh, you guys get, are, are getting how rhyme time works. Anyway, um, Samurai Productions, you got the lead. Where are we going? I mean, you don't have the lead. You, control, you have control of the board. I apologize. Uh, Samurai Productions, where would you like to go next? Ah, I like it. Ron Hawthorne returning the favor of clapping. Like Ryan Time. Yeah, it's a fun category. Once you, it, it's harder to explain than it is to play. Like, once you try to explain it, you're like, what? I know, there's never been a good way to explain this. But once you start playing it, you get the hang of it. You're like, oh, that's how this game works. And it's actually really easy. Like, I did a terrible job of explaining it, but Jeopardy does a terrible job of explaining it. I think nobody explains it well. It's uh, Okay, so uh, Samurai Productions goes for MCU for 300. Okay, so for 300, now this is a question for the first. I'm going to ask you about a character's first appearance in the MCU, and you're going to have to give me an answer. So, for for 300, you got the other daily double... So, M uh, um, MCU for 300, you got the other daily double. Now, of course, this means you can bet some or all of your points. How much would you like to wager? This is for Samurai Productions only. So, you can wager some or all. You have Quattro Hundo. That's how many points you have. So, how much would you like to wager? And I cannot stress enough, this question is only for Samurai Productions. Unless you are a bit of Samurai Productions, don't answer. You will not get the points, and if you feed him a correct answer, only he's going to benefit from it. So, nobody else answer. Okay, so 200, uh, 200 points for Samurai Productions. The question is about the first appearance in the MCU. Who... You will get, oh, yeah, you will get, uh, you will get, uh, same thing, two, uh, reset. You will get two and a half minutes after I'm done asking the question. And the question is, only for Samurai Productions, no one else but Samurai Productions can answer this, who played Thanos in his first appearance in the MCU? Who is the actor that played Thanos in his first, first appearance in the MCU? Nobody but Samurai Productions answer this. Two and a half minutes has begun. I don't know, Harry. That's, that's not my point. It's a hard one. Ain't gonna be easy. I mean, apparently, the last uh, daily, daily double was really easy for... Uh, for Ron Hawthorne, but, you know, still. I also realize, maybe I'm too generous on the time, considering the fact that, you know, Google is a thing. Uh, uh, uh. Even if you're kidding, nobody answer but Samurai Productions. Come on. Bitta Samurai Productions. Oh, I think I got him with this one. Pretty hard. Don't know if he's going to answer in time. We've got about a minute left. I wonder if he's going to get it. Wonder if he's gonna get it for two hundred points. Two hundred points will tie him up with Ron Hawthorne for the lead. Josh Brolin, sorry, that is incorrect. I'm sorry, Samurai Productions. You go down two hundred points. 
that leaves you with a grand total of just 200. So you are now tied with double A for second place. Um, the answer we were looking for is Damien or Damien Portier. Portier. Potier. I don't know how to pronounce his name, but it's Damien Potier. Uh, he was at the end of the film Avengers. Um, that was who. That was uh, the actor at Thanos's cameo at the during the uh, mid credit scene for the Avengers. Uh, was that was the actor who played him? So uh, he was sweating while trying to type into Google. Yeah, he must have been. Um, so that is the answer we were looking for. Damien Potier, I believe is how to pronounce it. Yeah, the, the, very well. We weren't asking anybody but Samurai Productions for this. There's no point in bragging about it now. Um, but yes, nevertheless, you so you didn't get the points. You are now at 200, but you still have control of the board. So, uh, Samurai Productions, where would you like to go next? I like the look of him as Thanos. Like, when Thanos, we saw him at the end of the uh, first Avengers movie, I thought he looked really good. I thought that was the best character ever looked. In, on film, at least. Okay, uh, I always wanted to know how come he never wasn't, like, didn't stay being Thanos. How come it was Josh Brolin, but still. Like, I hated the way the character looked in Guardians. I thought he looked weird. Summer Reductions would like to go to, to Rhyme Time for 200. Okay, so this one's going to be a little harder, but again, it's the same game as Rhyme Time, so Rhyme Time for 200. All right. Boop. And since that was the last daily double, we don't have to worry. No more daily doubles. Uh, rhyme time for 200. So rhyme time for 200. Selena Kyle, Kate Kane. First clue is Selena Kyle. Second clue is Kate Kane. Selena Kyle, Kate Kane. Whoever gets the answers first, right first, gets 200 points. So... Selena Kyle, Kate King. What is the answer? Choose Sinister on the board. Wait, Samurai, uh, True Sinister, judges, can we accept that? Doot, doot, doot. We'll allow it. Yes, the cat bat. Catwoman, Batwoman is the correct. And that is what we were looking for, but Samurai Productions, we will take that. That is the rhyme. Very good. True Sinister. True Sinister, that is correct. True Sinister on the board with 200 points. All right, now putting you in a three-way tie for second place between Double A and Inigo Montoya. So, True Sinister, where would you... Anybody's game, pretty tight. Um, Ron Hawthorne in the lead with 600. Double A, tr uh, True Sinister, and Samurai Productions all in second place with 200 points, and Inigo Montoya... Uh, with, who, who had to leave, but is at 100. Uh, but still, anybody can get in this. Uh, still plenty of points to go, especially big money categories. So that is the correct answer, Shoe Sinister. Where would you like to go now? MCU for 200. MCU for 200. So this is all about the first appearances in the MCU. So first appearances in the MCU, closing out this category. Um... Now, this is a technicality, you gotta listen to it carefully. Captain America, technically speaking, made his first appearance in a deleted scene of this movie. Captain America made his first appearance in a deleted scene from this movie. This isn't his actual first appearance in MCU canon, but in the MCU, he was originally supposed to make uh, his first appearance in a specific scene that was deleted. What, for what movie? The Incredible Hulk says Ron Hawthorne, and you are correct. You are correct. Uh, you are right. Correct. I was gonna say correct and right at the same time. Uh, yes, that is correct. Um, he there was a deleted scene where they actually referenced it in uh, in where they actually referenced it in Hulk. Uh, they actually referenced it in the Avengers where Mark Ruffalo says he went to the North Pole. Um, he was supposed. 
he was supposed to he breaks up the ice and you see very quickly um in the deleted scene captain america in the north pole captain america being uh, uh frozen in a chunk of ice he actually passes passes through the shot really quickly uh, when hulk breaks it up which i actually wish they kept because it would have been cool it's like why didn't they find captain america until now it's because hulk actually broke up the ice to find him so very good answer ron hawthorne ron hawthorne 700 points solidifying his lead even further uh ron hawthorne where would you like to go next what category are you looking for um we still have some big money points left so there are definitely places where you guys can go to catch up to ron hawthorne but he is making it much bigger any special guests on the raw stream um probably just albert again well, as usual why are you sick albert you want somebody else <laughs> uh, i'll be back in a few minutes gotta take my bro to work okay cool um he may not be here, but um, either way. Uh, Ron time for 300. Ron time for 300. All right. So the clues again. Two clues. I hope you guys like Ron time now that you're getting the swing of it. Um, the clues for Ron time are both answers are going to be. It's going to be a two-part answer, and both parts will rhyme. So Superman, Iron Man. Your clue is Superman. And then Iron Man. Dale, you're way off. <laughs> I hate this round. Oh, Double A doesn't like Ryan Time. All right. Well, I guess it's not for everybody. Uh, so. Mark Stark says to Sinister, and you are correct on window with 300 points, bringing you to a grand total of 500. I like it, I like it, I like it. That is correct. Clark Stark is right. Samurai Productions. Um, <laughs> see that, though? Maybe, maybe you would have caught that if you weren't typing so much. Oh, shoot. I'm sorry, True Sinister. Did I say Samurai Productions? My apologies. Uh, uh, True Sinister, you got it. You got it right. I'm sorry, True Sinister, you are correct. Um, so True Sinister, you are correct with 300, bringing you into second place with 500. You have choice of the boards. What would you like to say next? Ah, uh, Batman for 300. Batman for 300. It's the Batman. Boop. Uh, do I have to make the noise? No, but kind of yes at the same time so 300 points all right so for 300 points batman so this is about names of batman side characters okay we're looking for the name of a side character and the question is whoever answers it first will get 300 points whoever answers it first correctly will get 300 points what is the name of bruce wayne's uncle that raised them in some continuities of the comic book batman has an uncle who is he who is Batman's uncle? What is that? Name that uncle. Name that uncle. Bruce Wayne's uncle. And specifically the uncle that raised him in original continuity. This is the hard one. Because nobody talks about it. Because most of you guys are going, didn't Alfred raise him? Not always. Originally, it was actually, oh, Ron Hawthorne nails it with Philip. Fit up! You changed, Phil. You changed. That is right. Correct. 300. Putting you up to 1,000. 1K. 1G. A grand. 1,000 points. You got that correct. It is Philip. Uh, Uncle Wayne. <laughs> Wayne Wayne. Uh, yes. Um, so, no. The answer is Philip. Uh, sometimes he has been portrayed as uh, Thomas's brother, but most of the time he's actually portrayed as um, Mar Martha. Martha's brother. So, uh, Philip is the correct answer. Uh, yeah, Alfred, originally in continuity, again, if you watch Dave Knows comics videos, you will know this. Uh, originally, Alfred came in after Batman had already become Batman and already had uh, Robin with him. And he came in after the fact, and originally they didn't want to partner up with him because they were afraid he was going to find out their secret identity when he came in and demanded to be their butler. Originally, Batman was raised by his uncle, uh, Philip. I wrote the whole thing. Yeah, but that's not right. <laughs> Don't play. Yeah, you, you wrote an entire answer, but that's not correct. All right. I know I'm not getting any closer. I'm rooting for Ron. Ron I don't know. Um, wait, who, who said that? 
uh, Samurai Productions. Okay, you're not. Uh, but she says there's got she says there's got a shot. Um, and and yeah. Uh, but yeah, you never know. Uh, okay, so um, but Ron Hawthorne, that was definitely clutch. Um, that definitely helped strengthen your lead. Uh, it's still possible that you you might not win this one. That's right. He did have an Uncle Phil. He did have an Uncle Phil. Mm -hmm. Who's your favorite actor uh, who played Alfred? Michael Caine. Why do we fall down, sir? Okay. So anyway, um, although the old the, the dude from the '89 Batman series was pretty good too. I'm not gonna front. Michael Goff, not gonna front. He's he, he pretty good too. Although I just want an Alfred with a mustache. I don't know why that's so hard for me to get. Um, I don't know. I don't have a real answer. Uh, we, so anyway, um, but Ron, go for it. What category would you like next? Just pointing it out, if Ron does, writers for 300, if Ron gets this question correct, um, he will guarantee that he will win this game and we'll just stop. Okay, so writers for 300, like in the writers category. All right, so boop, 300 questions. Writers. I screwed up somewhere. We did that already. It was your daily double, Ron. I'm sorry. I actually was taken off the board already. Sorry. Those. Uh, try again. I just forgot to remove it after you did the daily double. My bads. Um, actually, no. Ron just won the game. Uh, sorry. Yeah. Ugh. So that's my bad. Um, but anyway, yeah. So I guess that's the game. I'm sorry. Ron Hawthorne officially just won with that last question. Oops. <laughs> I'm Ron, you are the winner. Congratulations, you have won. So, we have in last place, uh, it wasn't here for the whole time, but he did make a powerful impact with 100 points on Nigo Montoya. Uh, in tie, next, we have in a tie, Samurai Productions and Double A with 200 points. Uh, next, in second place, with 500 points, we have True Sinister. And then in first place, with 1,000 points, we have Ron Hawthorne. Congratulations to Ron Hawthorne. Uh, you win a no prize, but victory to Ron Hawthorne, the first ever winner of No Perdi over on the Dave Knows Comics live stream. Uh, for the sake of answers, what is it tearing you apart? Do you just want to know what these last two questions are? Maybe I'll save them for another day. Maybe we won't use them. Maybe I should just leave them burning a hole in here. Um, I don't know. Uh, don't stop. We can play for second place. Okay. All right. You just want the trivia. Okay. 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 Ron Hawthorne. We'll keep playing for second place. I'll sit, okay. I'll sit out. All right. Cool. But uh, Ron, since you are the winner, you still have control of the board. Uh, which of the last two questions would you like? Do a live stream on wrestling channel. Uh, not planning on it, Harry. And I figured you might ask, but no, we are not going to play this game on the wrestling channel either. Um. But yeah, so, um, Ron, I'll still give you control of the board, even though this place, True Sinister with 500 points, you're definitely winning second place. It's not going to be possible for, um, these guys to catch up, uh, even, even with these points. But, uh, just for, just for the fun of it, we'll go Batman for 100. Batman for 100. Boop. Alright, Batman for 100. Batman for 100, what is Alfred's last name? This is the easy part, because it's for 100. So what is Alfred's last name? Like when your teacher says, let's play a game, and I'll, I'm like, what do I win? You win the satisfaction of knowing that you're awesome. Right, Ron? I give to you the no prize. Double A says Pennyworth, and that is correct. Bring double A up to 300. All right, and the final question. Final question. Yes, Pennyworth is correct. Uh, final question for writers is going to be... Uh, 
who wrote the story arc in the comics? Who wrote in the comics the story arc? Hush. Who wrote the the Hush story arc? The original Hush story arc in the comic books. No, I just said that for Russell King. No. No. We're not doing this on the wrestling channel. Combo channel only. I didn't think this was hard, but maybe it is. Anyone? Any takers? No! Double A incorrect. That is the artist. I want the writer. The category is writers. Oh, Ron Hawthorne, I thought you were sitting this one out. But yes, the answer is Jeff Loeb. Jeff Loeb is correct. That is the correct answer. Okay, so again, um... <laughs> Ron Hawthorne is the winner. Congratulations, True Sister, in second place. Uh, but Ron Hawthorne is the ultimate winner. The first ever winner of No Perdi over here on the Dave Knows Comics live stream. Thank you so very much for playing. Thank you for the likes. I do appreciate it. Hope you enjoyed this. And if you're not watching this live, let me know down in the comments. You can still like anyway. Let me know in comments if you want more of this, how you feel about this game. And I hope you guys enjoyed it so, so, so much. Uh, it was a thoroughly large amount of work but i still had fun for some reason uh 